Hello, everybody. Welcome to February. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. Very excited today to catch up on a familiar story that's had brilliant developments recently. Jeff Atkins, welcome back. Hi, Peter. Thanks for having me on. Well, I, when I saw your January 28th press release, I absolutely had to talk to you. Now, by way of setup, I'm used to reading press releases that say, uh, our PA said a billion, but we're going to spend two billion. Or our feasibility study said we're going to need half a billion. We're going to spend two billion. It is rare to see a press release that says, you know, I think we're going to spend less than we expected and produce more. So congratulations to you. Yeah, thanks, Peter. It was um, it looked really exciting to have that campaign out of the way, and really exciting as well to confirm that the ore sorter which we've got operating up there is doing what we hoped it would do, and actually. Okay. Performing More. better than what than what we um, what we could have really expected. Yeah, it is very exciting to read that whole press release. It's just full of bullet points of happiness. So you're shipping to Saskatchewan for processing. Yep. So your supply That's chain. Right. Um, your ore sorter is working better than expected, despite a very cold winter. You're redesigning the pit to account for the ore sorter working better. Yep. And you've, it's been determined that your ore is red, your waste is white, so you don't have to send your samples to a lab for assaying. You just do it all visually. That's exactly correct. So, and that's the real beauty of the North Tea deposit up there and why we, why we started there is that it really is so simple. So it means that when we are mining, anything which contains ore, which is plainly visible, we're able to send straight through to the ore sorter. Right. And if it doesn't, it goes through to the waste dump. And what that means is the amount of material we're able to actually process through that ore sorter is um, dramatically increased. It's so effectively, effectively, it means we don't have a cutoff grade, which of course makes a huge difference in terms of the total amount of product that you're able to take out of the pit. Right, now when you and I were chatting just before this, you had a jar metaphor. Could you do that yeah. again? Sure. So basically the way this works, a typical mining project where everything's really fine, if you see this, you've just got the ore, which is red, mixed in with the waste, and it's quite difficult to separate. What we've got up at North T is essentially like a jar of marbles, and it's literally a case of how you separate that. Now, to really explain the impact of what we found with the ore sorter, what it said is that, what it's shown is that the actual grade of the product doesn't impact how easy it is to separate. So it's equivalent of saying, okay, we'll have a lower grade product. But as you can see from these two, it makes no difference in how easy it is to pick out those red balls. Right. And, that, and that's fundamentally what's happening up on site at the moment. We that's can have very a exciting. very low grade product, which uh, there might only be one or you know, one percent REO, and but it's just as easy to pick out. And that and is a huge advantage. And you've gone old school on this. No PEA, no resource estimate, no feasibility study. You know where the ore is, go process it. Exactly. And this really came from the experience that we've built up over the last 15 years in rare earths. So we made the decision that the critical factor for us was getting into operations as quickly as possible. And that enables us to start a qualification process with customers and really set ourselves up to be able to then expand our operations build those foundations for the business to, to expand those operations and have that real growth. If we'd gone down that traditional path, that would have delayed us commencing by about two years. And what that means is you delay everything by two years. So with the experience that our team has, we were able to understand the nature of the ore body, understand the processing, very confident in terms of the, the costs, and that enab that's enabled us to start our operations now. And I think what's been shown and what's really exciting from the, uh, the announcement which we put out about the, um, the operation of the ore sorter mm -hmm. is those assumptions that we made um, based on our experience are proving to be correct. And in fact, are actually proving to be uh, conservative in, some, in a lot of these factors. And so that did, should give a lot of confidence for, as we move forward into our growth phase. And you did a financing over the summer, early fall, right? That's correct. So we did a financing which was built on what our estimated um, capital cost is in Saskatoon 
and to ensure we had enough cash to fund the construction of that and, uh, and commence operations. And you have the cash on hand to do that now? So we've currently got 18 million in cash in the bank or as of 30, 30 December. Wonderful. Trades us VML on the ASX, one of the best rare earth stories out there. There are a lot of iffy rare earth stories out there. Yours is fantastic. It's been a pleasure to watch. Thanks, Peter. Really appreciate the time and effort and um, giving me the platform here to speak. Next time you're in town, let me know. We'll meet out at the airport. Absolutely. VML on the ASX, Jeff Atkins. I'm Peter Clausey, signing off from Investor Intel.